And good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this good morning Tottenham away video. It's match day again, guys. Can you believe how quickly uh, uh, the games are coming thick and fast? Massive and big turnover. But here we are on the on the day of Coventry versus Tottenham for the UFL Cup. It's going to be live on Sky. Uh, much to get through, guys. Uh, first and foremost, as Poster Coglu said, this is the time that pain, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we will see the likes of Bergvall. We will see the, uh, the, 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 the Archie Gray. Massively, I thought they should have played a part um, uh, on Sunday in the, in the North London Derby. They didn't, but it looks like their time is coming and it will hopefully be tonight that they will get that game time. Odebert's likely to start. Dragusen is likely to be drafted in as well so there will be change Basuma misses out um misses out still through injury we should be sticking with Vicario in goal um maybe some minutes for uh Spence um we shall wait and see confirmation nearer to the kickoff hopefully Spence will get uh some game time and um for me personally I I, I said look I've said this all along. Um, I would go with um, three maximum four changes. I don't want to see what happened at Fulham last season, where first of all we went out, which is the last thing we want, but also making ridiculous amount of changes. Um, ten changes. I think. I'm going by memory now. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. We made something like ten changes, if not eleven. So, for me, absolutely is a no-no. We mustn't take this game underhand. Make the changes for sure. Make three or four changes, freshen thing up, uh, things up for sure. Um, but try and keep the core of our team. Solanke, for me, needs to get the minutes up front. So I would carry on with Solanke. Perhaps rest on from the beginning and play like the likes of Odebert and maybe even Johnson, um, who, um, against teams of this level, I think even he would be massive on, on, on the wing. So Odebert and what I would go for, guys, and let me know your team and who you would go for. My, my, I, I, I would go like this. I would go with, Vicario, um, uh, I'd have the uh, Dragusin um, and Van de Ven, uh, rest Romero for this game. Um, I would have Udogi on the left and Spence on the right. Um, Pape Matasar uh, with uh, possibly, I'll say Benzinger because <laughs> with Benzinger we might, might. Might lose him for a little bit longer. Or, no, maybe maybe go with um, Ben Tinker or even Papa Matasa. One of those guys with Archie Gray and Bergvall in the middle of the park. Risky a little bit because you're having two players making their first appearances. But let's try it. And then other Burt Johnson wide with Solanke up front. Um, I'd be tempted to probably play one between Bergvall and Archie Gray from the beginning and the other can come on. Um, during the course of the game and go perhaps with Bentico and um, Papa Matasar to give a little bit more uh, experience and know-how compared to the other two. Or maybe, you know, maybe maybe, maybe it's time for both of them to play and play one of the other midfielders between Papa That's where I'm a little bit undecided, I have to say. Tempted to play the two, to, to the, the two boys because if not now, when? But at the same time, the realisation of having to win this game and getting through is far superior for me than, 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 than the first part. So I'm a little bit torn in, in how, in that middle of the part. But in a wide area, it's like I said, Johnson, Odebert with Solanke up front. What would your team be, guys? Where would you um, like to make those changes? I think that's quite a balanced um, change at the back, certainly with Dragusa and Spence coming in, keep, whilst keeping the doggy and, and Van der Ven. Um, Solanke in the middle of the park. You want to give uh, the spine. That's why I'm a little bit torn. Do you go with 
Um, even playing Madison rather than Madison and Bergvall maybe playing one of the uh, Archie Gray in a holding mid is that too risky what, what, what do you guys I'm interested to know what you guys uh, feel what are your sensations for this game tonight um, we have to certainly bounce back from that defeat on Sunday so for me it's massive today massive 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 that we start today not only with a win which is always good for morale but also getting through to the next round and like I said, a way to commentary on a Wednesday night. <sighs> you know what? Can we? Just get... <laughs> How confident are we all feeling? Because <clears throat> it's 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 nervy. I I would love to see come us coming out of the blocks and putting this game to bed as soon as possible, if we can. That's what I'd like to see. And getting, 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 you know, for starting on the front foot, getting an early goal, unsettle those nerves, and then go on to make, you know, win it, win it, um, like I said, as soon as possible to then make those changes. Um, it would be nice to have like a, 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 you know, one of those nights where it's just plain sailing. Can it always be plain sailing with Spurs? You know the answer as well as I do. Um, yeah, so get off onto the win, and then you know what. We can start making the changes and then start focusing on the weekend game at home to Brentford. It has to start tonight. We really must bounce back and play convincingly, create more chances, take more shots and goals. I definitely want to see a little bit more. I want to see the keeper work tonight because we get to a point where it gets to the edge of the, of the area and we just do like this rainbow sort of thing where we goes to the right and it either gets smashed in the box or it gets played around the D and onto the other side. And it's almost like a curve, like a, like a rainbow shape. It's the best way I can describe it. I definitely want to see a little bit more, um, more direction towards the goal, more efforts on goal because... It's the only way you're going to score. If you don't shoot, you don't score. It's very simple, very simple, guys, to 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 do, man. You have to score, so yeah, you can't score if you're not attempting on goal. So I want to see a little bit more direction on that front and putting the bed, the game to bed early. Your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your team, how you will start, who you will play, how you want to see the game being played, and what are your predictions for tonight. Let's hope for a comfortable 2-0 win. I'll take that any day of the week. Your thoughts, comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, forever always, come on, you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Talk them away. Talk them away. Talk them away. Where we got talk them away? Them away. Them away. Where we got to talk them away? Talk them away.